Hi everyone, my name is Patrick McCory and I'm a Binance X Fellow. And today I'm going to present about the PISA project. A PISA, what we want to solve, is a scalability problem. As most people are aware, you know, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, they don't scale very well. They support on a magnitude of 10 transactions per second. And the big issue is that when you go above that throughput ceiling, you know, you get 15 TPS, then the fees skyrocket from two cents to twenty dollars, and we witnessed that in you know December twenty seventeen. Uh, most people don't want to pay you know twenty dollars for a Bitcoin transaction, and if that's the future of Bitcoin and Ethereum, then these networks are only going to be useful for high net worth individuals who are transferring millions of dollars, and they don't mind paying twenty dollars for a fee. But a PISA, we don't want to build a system just for high net worth individuals. We want to build a system such that anyone in the world can send money to anyone else in the world at a relatively low cost. And the question is, how do we achieve that? Now, what we're bullish on are off-chain protocols. And off-chain protocols rely on a very simple intuition, or magic trick, let's say. Why do we send every single transaction to the network? You know, if all is sending coins to Bob to buy a coffee, why does this need to be processed by the global network? It doesn't. It could be done off-chain, locally between Alice and Bob. And if this was done, what's really exciting is that one, it can be done in such a way where there's no counterparty risk. Two, if we don't interact with the global network, there's no network fee for Alice and Bob to pay. And three, if Alice and Bob agree to it, you don't care about block latency anymore. It's off-chain. It's local between the parties. You don't care about block confirmations because there's no transaction being confirmed. And that's why off-chain is so exciting. Now, there's two ways to achieve off-chain. There's payment channels and there's plasma. Now, payment channels allow two parties to send a coin back and forth rapidly. And if you have thousands of channels out there, what you can actually build is a channel-based network, like the Lightning Network. What's really exciting about that is that if Alice has a channel with Bob, and Bob has a channel with Carline, and Carline has a channel with Dave, Alice can send coins to Dave via Bob and Carline. So the payment is along a path, local between the four parties, and it can be done in a way where there's no counterparty risk whatsoever. And Bob and Carline get a small fee for doing that. Now, if Lightning evolves and works, what we're going to witness is that you could have hundreds and thousands of paths set up and complete at exactly the same time. So it's going to be a bit like Visa on steroids, and it's going to be truly peer-to-peer. -peer. Anyone could open a channel. Anyone could be Bob and Caroline. You could put up coins and actually route payments on behalf of others and collect a small fee for that. So be very bullish for Lightning. On the other hand, there's Plasma. And Plasma is designed in such a way where, as a service provider, I can have millions of customers and all their coins are locked in with me. My only job is to listen to their off-chain you know, transactions and then create a small hash and post it to the blockchain periodically. And all I'm doing is a bot confirmation for all of those off-chain transactions. So I get them, I hash them, post a small hash. And now I can do bot confirmations for millions of transfers on behalf of millions of customers in such a way where there's very little counterparty risk. And that's cool. What we're going to see evolve is Plasma used by most inter internet service providers and Lightning in the middle so that if Alice wants to send coins to Bob, and they're in Plasma 1, Plasma 2, the coins can be sent via the Lightning Network within a second with no counterparty risk. And if that works, then actually we're going to achieve the low-cost you know, low transaction volume we want to achieve. But what about PISA? How does PISA fit into this picture? Well, all off-chain protocols have one big underlying assumption, that the user's online and fully synchronized with the network. And that sucks. If the user goes offline, the counterparty could steal their money. So at PISA, we want to build financially accountable watchtowers, where when the user goes offline, we take on the financial liability and we get hired to protect them. So if their counterparty tries to cheat, we watch the blockchain and we respond on the customer's behalf. And if the customer comes back online and we didn't do our job, we're financially liable and we have to refund the customer. And we do this using a central PISA contract, where we lock up stake, let's just say 10k dollars. If the customer can prove we didn't protect them, we have to refund them in a set time period, 
otherwise we get lost. So Pisa is a trust minimized service such that you don't have to trust us because we're financially liable, we either refund you or we get lost. And so in the end, what we're going to see is the Lightning Network evolve for routing, Plasma for payments, and this watching network that will protect offline users and take on the financial liability. And if this works, Pisa will achieve the dream of being able to send money to anyone else in the world at a relatively low cost. Because everything's local between the parties. And the global network is not used to process every transaction. So if you're interested, please get in touch. We'd love to get you involved and help make this network a reality.